50 years of Marsha Waldron Quattlebaum, an eyewitness account. Her birth. We were wanting one for quite a while, and finally it happened. And uh, we were delighted. It was a while before I could hold her. She was a C-section baby, and uh, I said, oh, honey, isn't she just beautiful? He said, well, she wasn't when I looked at her. She had had a real struggle getting born. Of course, by the time I saw her, she looked fine. Her childhood. She was the only grandchild, and all of the aunts and uncles and sisters and brothers, every one of them wanted to grab her. And she got to where she just screamed she wanted to be by herself. She was Miss Independent. All at once, I turned around to see what she was doing, and there she was, walking right towards me. I just screamed, and I said, oh, oh, <laughs> I thought she was going to fall, <laughs> but she didn't. Her sister? I don't think she was too happy about it for, right at first, because she had been big cheese for about three years. She didn't like to have me around. <laughs> she uh, sort of ignored me. Growing up. She's always been real precise in everything she did. One of her teachers said she could pick out Marsha's paper without having a name on it. Said that everything was right in line, that nothing was off center. She likes it all right in place. <laughs> Naturally, we were leery of all the boys. She was working at the Dairy Queen, and uh, I started going to the Dairy Queen all the time, and. Uh, Eventually, after several trips, uh, got up enough nerve to ask her uh, to go somewhere. She seemed to do all right. Getting married. We had been dating for a long time, and I knew that I wanted to uh, marry her as soon as the school year was over. May 1st. I remember her being pretty together during the wedding ceremony. My knees were knocking. She looked very pretty. Yeah, she was made a beautiful bride. I thought that uh, I had really done the right thing. The kids. Marcia was very ready to be a mother, but I don't think I was ready to be a daddy. There was uh, you know, a lot more to it than I expected, but uh, it worked out pretty well, all things considered. No matter where we lived, we always had the house that all the kids in the neighborhood wanted to hang out. She'd read lots of books, and she knew what mothers ought to do, and she did that stuff. She was the June Cleaver, Miss Brady type mom that <laughs> was always around, interested in what we were doing. She was a very dedicated uh, mother. You no, know, it was just nice that she was always there. I was sort of in the background, and if she needed some help, I was there. But she just seemed to be able to handle it herself. I would rate her as high as they go. And now... I don't have to listen to any of those comments about me being older <laughs> than she is. Now I can really say she's my older sister. <laughs> <laughs> she's my friend, and I enjoy being around her in a role different than mother-child. Yeah, she's a pretty good sister. So I'm going to be just like her. Oh, no. <laughs> I still think of her as she has always been, and uh, it's never changed over all this time. Well, Mom, I hope you've enjoyed the first 50 years of your life and this celebration thereof. Boy, when you turn 100, that's really going to be a lot of work. Uh, of course, I'll be 74, so I'll probably pass that job off to one of the grandkids. I love you, and happy birthday.